Hey guys, welcome to another video. As you saw in the title, this video is about 5 things that you probably don't know about CarX. Okay, the first one is an in-game feature. Well, you all know that if you buy the range, you can now scroll more freely. But then if you tap on the white numbers, your keyboard would get opened and then you can basically type it down. But it has to be in the range. It can be very useful, especially for gearbox settings. Number two is the physics. I got a lot of comments asking about it too. And I have to say the physics and car handlings are very different with CarX Drift. It might feel close, but there is a lot of differences. I know people that were in God level at CarX Drift, but can't do anything in CarX Street. There was even a TikToker that ended up speeding up his videos. In my opinion, it's not harder at all. You just need to get used to it. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So let me know your thoughts about it. Number three is the tires. Since not much people really look at this board, you probably doesn't know that the difference between the racing tire and the sport is about how much grip they have. To make it clear, basically the sport tires are drift tires and the racing parts are obviously for race. And I see people that doesn't know the difference between them and using the wrong one thinking because it costs more it has to be better. Hopefully we will have some proper drag tires soon. Number four is about taking in-game screenshots. Well, obviously, the game only renders where you're looking at, so if you want to take some screenshots from the front view, you might lose some details at the background. Well, you might say, man, nothing is missing now. But take a look at the gate behind me. I'll change to multiplayer mode and you'll see the difference. As you can see, there was a sign and a bunch of other things there which wasn't loading at the first time. Make sure you take your photos in multiplayer since it doesn't pause the game anymore and that allows it to keep rendering the map. Okay, you all should know this one, or at least the older players. But in this part of the map, there was a box which had a cool animation, and it basically would fell down every time you get close to it. And just to let you know, it was not a bug or anything, it meant to do that. But apparently it doesn't happen anymore, there was a few more in different spots of the map which they doesn't either, well I guess Corex had to remove some small features to decrease the lag on weak devices. We can't blame the developers though, but I hope it comes back. And the last and most important one which has been scientifically proven is if you're subscribed to OG it makes you a pro drifter. So what you waiting for? Hope you enjoy and see you next time.